Okay, hi, welcome back. This is going to be a quick little video on three levels of neurological injury. And the reason I'm covering these three levels is there's a lot of variability in function based on these, probably the most of any three levels. And that would be C5, C6, and C7. Now I'm talking about not, not bones you broke, as you can tell from the previous lecture, but also we're talking about, well really what we're talking about is the neurological level. So the, why, that, why is that important? C5, so what does that do? Let me get back before I talk about C5, I wanna talk about C1, 2, 3, and 4. C1, 2, 3, and 4 do not have a motor level to test, a muscle to test. We talk about motor and sensory. So a motor level to test, there's no level there. So whatever you test at that, at that sensory level will be your motor level. If you don't have a sensory, a motor to test, you go back to what sensory is. So if you're a C2, you wouldn't have any motor to test, but you go back to C2. Now, that being said, let's go down to C5. C5 motor is where we, first place we really can test something. So this is C5, it's bicep. So bicep is, has some C5 and 6, but the bicep is C5. That's where we test the C5 when the doctor does the motor test on you. Deltoid is also some C5. So, but that's not necessarily what we test. That's not what we test. Um, now, you, if you're a C5 and you have no C6, you would have some deltoid and some bicep, maybe a little bit, there's a brachioradialis muscle that helps bend that. So that you get elbow bend by, by having a C5. So let's drop down to C6 now. C6, you would have C5, so you'd have the deltoid, the bicep, but then throw in the wrist extension. So wrist extension is C6. Now, C7, you'd have C5, you'd have C6, so you'd have deltoid, wrist extension, but now you throw in triceps. Triceps are important because that allows you to obviously be able to transfer. C6s can transfer, but it's much more difficult. And some people need a sliding board or some people can aggressively do it. But C7 is where you get those triceps to be able to do that. Now, I wanna talk about C8 real quick. And that is, C8 just gives you some hand function that a C7 wouldn't have. So really testing, bending this, this little joint here, that's how we test C8. It's called the flexor digitorum profundus muscle, and it goes down in our innervates. So that's important to be able to tell what you can do in spinal cord injury in different levels. Way above that, you're pretty limited. Way below that, it's, you, you have all, all your hand function below T1. You have all your hand function. So then that is why I refer to it as a quadriplegic as anything that damage damages any of the cervical vertebrae because both sides of your upper or up your extremities are affected in some way. So you can see me not being able to flex that wrist puts me in the quadriplegic realm. So that's kind of a summary of this really important vertebrae that can kind of change function in, in, a, in a big degree.